Welcome in Pisces. I'm Maria at Indigo Earth. I'm here to do a general reading for you, our water signs Pisceans. Good to have you here. Thank you for stopping by the channel. Welcome in cross watchers. Please feel free to swap around the characters as need be throughout the reading. And anytime that you come across this reading and you were drawn into it was the time that you were meant to listen to it. Messages coming through for you, Pisces, should reflect some current aspect of your situation. Doesn't have to reflect all of it. Could just be some pieces of it as well as and or an inner knowing. So take what fits. If it doesn't fit, you don't have to try to make it fit. It just might not be the reading for you this week. But for those that this does resonate with, I will have an extended at the end of this video. We're going to dive deeper into your message by exploring zodiac signs that come through in your reading. And those zodiac signs that come through can be about intimate connection or a specific in intimate in intimate connection as well as and or background players blended family extended family parents siblings cousins um children co-workers associates best friends mothers-in-laws fathers-in-laws <laughs> whatever however it works and even if you don't know their zodiac signs you'll know the energies of those players in your life as it comes out in the extended in the reading so just keep that in the back of your head as we move forward here and to help support the channel grow for those of you that like the content can like and subscribe so that other Pisceans can get the messages that might be needed for them it is very much honored and very much appreciated so thank you for that so let's see where we go this is for Pisces, moon, rising, and sun. This is for Pisces, moon, rising, and sun. This is a message for those watching, please. Pisces, moon, rising, and sun. <clears throat> Messages for those watching, please. It's our dreamers. Pisceans ruled by Neptune. All right. All right, here we go. So, overall theme, energetic theme for your reading, we have the Three of Swords. Could be going through some deep emotional healing right now. Um, could just be feeling also some discord within yourself so let's see what your overall energy is we have the king of pentacles for some of you this could be about an earth sign cancer pisces scorpio or somebody that has a lot of earth energy in their chart but for the most part the king of pentacles is about substance substance tangible um sitting pretty good not really wanting for anything it's about resolve it's you know financially or your energy or your time or your resources seem to be pretty stable right now so let's see what the situation is coming up here we have the three of wands could be waiting for something to come in some of you could be waiting for something to come in some of you could be ready to go in a different direction setting your sights on something else let's see what your opportunity is here we have the two of swords so this could be your opportunity or your challenge <clears throat> um this could be something that you might not be seeing or maybe something that you don't want to do or maybe something that you're just not prepared to do yet we'll find out what that is let's see what the universe is working on with you two of cups so um this doesn't have to be about an intimate connection although it can be but the two of cups really is about union it is about some something or someone or you know that's very heartfelt to you, that's very um, meaningful in your life. So let's see how you got here. We have the Eight of Cups. 
Either you left something behind or somebody left you behind or some situation was left behind or something changed or something went away. So let's see what's right around the corner for you. Oh, beautiful. We have the star. Um, those are your hopes and your dreams and your wishes, what you really, really want at the core. So let's see what's fading out. We have the magician. So I think whatever your hopes and your wishes were has already taken form because what this is fading away. So what is not seen or what is not tangible, just because it's not seen yet, doesn't mean it's not on its way. Because right here, hopes and dreams right around the corner, it's on its way. So let's see what the outside influences are for you. We have death. That Scorpio energy coming through. So far we have Gemini, we have Scorpio, we have Aquarius. And we got an earth sign present presence. Um, this is about something coming to its end of completion. Something coming to the end of its cycle. What is right in front of you? Your next steps. Four of Cups. There could be some disappointment here. You could be disappointed or some, you could feel like somebody else is disappointed in you. And let's see what your future possibilities are. We have the Eight of Pentacles. So this is um, honing in on a craft, honing in on a trade. Um, walking the walk and talking the talk, so to speak. Putting in the work, putting in the effort. For some of you, this could be about a relationship that maybe you didn't put enough time and effort into. Maybe you were ignoring or not being fully present in a situation or a relationship. So this can be situational or this can be relational. Take it how it works for you or it could be both. Um, but somebody left here. And so I think there's been some realization that, um, or maybe going through some of the discomfort, three of swords, some of the discomfort or the sadness behind whatever this was that left your life, or if you left somebody's life, um, coming to a realization that more work and more time and more effort needs to be put in, that it needs to change, that the ways of doing things before weren't working the way that they needed to work. So let's see what that's all about for you, Pisces. Let's take this three of wands because that's your situation. So setting your sights on something different, looking at new horizons, new possibilities. We have the seven of cups. We have the seven of swords. I think this was a mixed match of um, wanting the same things in life or wanting the same goals. Yeah, two of wands. One person wanted to go one way and one person wanted to go the other way. Two of wands. One person wanted to go forward. One person was holding back or staying back. Seven of Swords, like sneaking away through the back door. <laughs> Somebody didn't want to go. So there's, there seems to be a mixed match of like goals, dreams, ideas, <clears throat> where everything is heading. So let's find out what the Two of Swords is. This could be about financial stability. This could be about money. find out what the two of swords is for you this is your opportunity or your challenge someone may be refusing to budge 
clarify what the Two of Swords is for our Pisces, please? We have a Five of Pentacles. We have the King of Swords. And we have the King of Cups. Well, normally the King of Cups is really about compassion and understanding. It's kind of a global love, love for just life in general. But when you've got it here next to the King of Swords and the Five of Pentacles, um, this seems to be a little icy cold to me. Like, somebody's going to not, they're standing where they're standing. They're not budging. Even if they have to stand alone. Because you got it crossing with the Two of Swords. And you got three kings here. King of Pentacles, King of Swords, King of Cups. There's a very masculine energy coming in here. Kind of like it's my way or the highway kind of mentality. Or thought process. But somebody feels like they're just going to have to do this on their own. They're just not willing to compromise here. Like, like the judgment is in. <laughs> it's, it's already been declared. We're not going back. It's not, there's no changing your mind. It's just really driven one way forward. And I feel like whatever this is, you know, whatever decision this is, whether it's relational or situational or both, um, I feel like somebody really does believe that they're doing the right thing. I think that they really believe that it's for the betterment of the good for everybody. So let's find out what this is. Or let's find out what the universe is working on with you. Because um, there were two ideas, two separate ideas here. moving forward and somebody's not willing to budge and it could be you know it could be about um, finances it could be about a career move it could be about um, income resources it could be about how they spend their time and their energy could be about what's sustainable and what isn't So clarify what the Two of Cups is then for Pisces. We have the Empress. So somebody sees future possibilities. We have the Queen of Pentacles. We have the King of Wands. And we have the Five of Wands. Um, somebody sees future possibilities here. Somebody else likes to be kind of grounded and stable and, you know, steady as she goes, a little bit frugal, maybe a little bit more nurturing. And then we got the King of Wands. Somebody kind of wants to be kind of that entrepreneur spirit, you know, like some people believe that money is meant to be saved and some people that believe that money is meant to be spent that it's meant to be it's used as a tool and a resource and it should be you know some people want to save for retirement if that even ever like is going to make it in the next 10 years right or 401ks or um, pension plans all that kind of stuff and somebody else I think wants to use the resources to create for the future. And uh, there's conflicting interests here. For a few of you, what's coming through here is that um, there might be another person involved in this. And that doesn't necessarily have to mean 
that it's a person. It could just be another interest. But I've got the Empress here and the Queen. And then I've got the King of Wands. And the King of Wands sometimes can come through as um, kind of that can be very like player mentality. Like wants what they want when they want it. Um, and this is causing a lot of conflict in the relationship because something else is influencing it or somebody else might be influencing it. So however that resonates with you, but there may be somebody here, and this could be even for very fewer, fewer of you, somebody here could be pregnant um, and there's another player out there somewhere and it doesn't have to be female, uh, two females and a male. It could be two males and a female. So take it however resonates with you. But for the most part, either way that this goes, there is a conflict of interest in what matters and where this is heading. So let's find out what this Eight of Cups is. This is how you got here. We have the four of wands. So somebody walked away from a committed, commitment. Could have been a verbal commitment. Could have been a, um, just a, a, what do you call that? Where it's, um, it's not said but expected. Or it's not said but it's, un, it's just known. Kind of those subtle knowns. But somebody walked away from a commitment. Because there is conflict of interest here. So somebody just decided it just wasn't worth it. There was some sort of manipulation behind this. Or some sort of power struggle maybe. So let's find out what the star is. Because this is what's right around the corner. Remember, feel free to swap around the characters as need be. All right, let's clarify what this star is for our Pisces, please. We have the King of Wands again. Some of you could be dealing with a fire sign. Aries, Leo, Sag, or someone who has a lot of fire in their chart. I got fire signs and earth signs coming through here. Earth, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. So we got the King of Wands. We have the Two of Wands. And we have the Ten of Swords. I think somebody still has hopes and desires or feels like that this person is like the person meant for them. Um, they, feel, they feel like it's been crushed, that this person may have taken a different route. I think they feel kind of powerless, ten of swords. This could be you, this could be the other person. Feels like their dreams, you know, this, this is like their, their it person. And I, I think someone feels like their dreams are being taken away or their dreams are being crushed. Like they're having to decide to go one, go this way or to go that way. And I, I think it's making, making you feel powerless. Like this kind of seems to be an and or kind of thing. So if this situation is about a mixed match of two people having different ideas about, you know what it means to be in a relationship or where the relationship is going or what to do with spending money or how to spend money. Um, I think you feel like your dreams and your visions are being taken away from you. That it's either has to be one way or the other way. And I, it feels like you're being crushed. 
like it's powerless like you know like <laughs> and for others of you you know that might have this third party thing going on um I think you feel like your dreams and your visions were crushed that this person was your all in all and that you're not sure which way they're going to go and you're feeling powerless so let's see what death is because something definitely needs to be transformed here So what, what, this is the outside influence. So something definitely is ending or a way of being in the relationship or in the situation is ending. So let's see what this is. Clarify what this is for Pisces. What is death? That's also Capricorn or no, it's not. It's uh, Scorpio energy coming in. I got Scorpio, Gemini. I got fire signs, Aries, Leo, Sag. I got the Empress, that's Taurus and Libra. Gemini's coming through here, Aquarius. Yeah, something's definitely ending. We got Death and the Tower. Something is being completely dismantled. And we got the Emperor. And we got the Knight of Pentacles. I think there's some rigidity going on here. Inflexibility. Um, I think there's some trust issues at hand here as well. Maybe some reliability. I think someone's just set in their ways. I mean, if there's any kind of movement or any kind of like um, coming together to trying to figure out a common ground, I, I think that this person is like, it takes a long time. Like, it's like molasses. Like, like hurry up and wait. kind of like glacial movement <laughs> and it takes a while it's almost like it's almost like you have to leave this person in order for them to figure things out and even then it's really just a slow moving process but this whatever this situation is or whoever this person is and then we got another fire sign showing up here so this is Aries um, it seems to be very very rigid and it's almost like it, it, it has like like, this person has to, like, what is that? A hard head makes for a soft ass. Like, things have to be completely, like, they have to learn the hard way. Or, or something has to, like, completely dissolve in their life before they, they kind of really move anything forward. Really hard driven. So let's see what the Four of Cups is. Because this is the next step. And I think we talked about there's some dissatisfaction here or disappointment or somebody feels disappointed or somebody feels like they're being ignored. Somebody's inflexible, is not going to move, refuses to participate. So clarify what this Four of Cups is. We have the Three of Wands. We have the King of Cups. And we have the four of wands. So I think there's disappointment here. Um, maybe dissatisfaction as well. But I think there's still hope. 
Um, because there's love here. There's definitely love here. There's still hope for a future. There's still hope for commitment. Like the commitment and the love is still there. It's just, you know, you got the three of wands here. Which way is everybody going to go? What do, what's the way? Where are we going? What's going on? How is this going to happen? Where is it working out? And we have the two of pentacles. A decision needs to be made. Or working together for the common good of the whole. You got the king of cups here. Working together, making a commitment to work together for the common good of the whole. Because right up above this for future possibilities, you have the eight of pentacles. That is about work. Putting in the work and the time and the effort. So even though there may be disappointment, dissatisfaction, it's like the three of wands. Do you set sail? Or do you wait? Two of Pentacles, what's a decision? Because I think that there's, you know, an opportunity here to work together for the common good. Now, for those of you that this may involve third party situations, um, there may be a need to be a small, like, break here. <laughs> Three of Wands, like, priorities need to be put in order. But again, there's still love and commitment here. There's just a decision that needs to be made. So let's find out. Let's get one more on this Eight of Pentacles. So clarify what the Eight of Pentacles is, because this is... Walking the walk and talking the talk. Putting the time and the effort in. Someone could also feel like they're being ignored. Six of Wands. Putting the time and the effort and the work and the energy in to what you really want. Six of Wands. What is it you both really want? What is the common ground? Because Six of Wands is about victory. It's about success. It's about overcoming. And you got the hanged man. So there needs to be a time of contemplation right now. There needs to be a time of reassessment. There needs to be a time of strategy. There needs to be a time of, like, it's take a break, pause, right? I think it's like work hard, integrate the knowledge that you can for wanting something better, and then allow it to, like, you know, take the time back away from it to see if it's working. Is it working? But in order to have somebody be on the same page, I mean, they have to have some flexibility here. Because you can only meet somebody from where they're at within themselves, emotionally. And if it's not that deep, you, you can't, like, take somebody deeper. They, they have to take themselves deeper. So let's go. We're going to look at the extended here because this, this seems to be like it's in flux right now. It's in flux. There's some decisions that need to be made. There's some thought process and some strategy, King of Swords, that needs to be um, implemented. And it needs to be for the good of the whole, King of Cups, for all those involved. There's been some, some sort of like people having different where they're going. They're going in different directions here. 
and it needs to come together, three of wands. The two of wands needs to come together for the three of wands, where everybody's heading in the same direction. So in the extended, I'm going to look at, we got Aries, we've got, um, I always forget this one, Scorpio. We've got Scorpio twice. We got the Hanged Man. That's you, Pisces, coming in. We got Gemini and Virgo. We got Taurus and Libra. We got Aquarius. And I'm going to look at fire signs in general. Um, we got Aries coming through here, but I'm going to look at fire signs in general as well as Aries in the extended because there's a lot of fire energy coming through here. <clears throat> almost like a bulldozer like it all needs to be like cleared out burned out so it can start from a place of like common ground so I'll look at those in the extended I put my cards on the floor sorry <laughs> um, as well as actions and advice for you and for those of you not going on Let's get some guidance for you. This is from the Crystal Wisdom Healing Oracle deck by Judy Hall. So let's get something that you can tangibly work with, hold on to. So this is for Pisces, our dreamers. We have Labradorite, Labradorite, it's pretty stone. I think too, I need to just go back because I'm, as I'm looking at this, um, what the universe is really trying to work on with you is to bring two of cups, to bring this together. You've got somebody who's very practical, right? Somebody who's very practical, kind of very um, sensible, logical, doesn't really go past their comfort zone, and then you've got somebody who does, king of wands, somebody who's kind of like, wants to jump out of airplanes and parachute, or wants to, you know, climb Mount Everest. Like, you've got two very distinct different personalities, and this is where the conflict is coming in, but then you've got the empress, right? There's a lot of possibilities here to be explored, and a lot of, like, Potential that has been untapped, even though, you know, you've got two different trajectories here. One doesn't have to win over the other. It doesn't have to go one way. Because somebody feels like their dreams are not going to not gonna come to fruition because they can't tap into that King of Wands spirit, you know, spirit. They feel like they have to make a choice. And they feel somewhat powerless. Because there's love here. And there's commitment. So it should be a blending of the two. It shouldn't be one way, one, one person's way or another person's way. It should be how do you both add to it. How does, how does sensibility and practicality add to adventure and risk taking that's where i'm surprised temperance didn't come through here yet all right labradorite labradorite the mind's eye Labrador, labradorite raises your consciousness to connect to mystical dimensions and the higher protective energies it strengthens your faith in yourself and aids in intuitive guidance for self-understanding you are an intuitive being with the gift of foresight. Keep yourself grounded. The veil between the worlds is thin. You could easily confuse yourself with imaginings. Aim for clear insights. Hold on to common sense. So that's your queen of swords, or your queen of pentacles up here. Aim for clear insights. Hold on to common sense. 
It's your most effective tool in assessing intuitions and acting on those that are valid. Beware of psychic vampires. Ensure that you do not have a leaky aura. You face a temporary setback, but a sudden reversal of fortune is possible. Be careful with what you wish for. It may come true. Raise your consciousness to the highest levels. Labradorite indicates Cap Capricorius... Capricious love. Okay, that's a word that's got to be looked up. <laughs> Labrador light indicates capricious love. C A P R I C I O U S. Giving your energy away is bad for your health. Establishing an efficient interface with the outside world will protect your well being. Your soul path right now is opening the inner eye. Capricarious. That means like... I'm thinking that means like a love that seems to be... Unfrugal, maybe? I don't know. I have to look it up. <laughs> that's not a word that's in my immediate vocabulary. So that's what I have for you this week, Cappies. Our Pisces, I hope this helped. And until next time, may the peace that passes all understanding embrace the essence of your being. And for those of you going on, the link to the extended is in the description box below. And I will see you over there. Bye-bye.